Hi, ladies. Um, I know that we're all missing each other. Um, we're missing our ladies' Bible class. We're missing Wednesday morning Bible class and the Wednesday evening Bible class. Um, and we're just simply missing each other at worship and seeing each other around town. Uh, we shouldn't be seeing each other around town, by the way. We're supposed to be staying in. Uh, David asked me earlier this week to provide a devotional just for us ladies. Um, and I said yes, uh, because I didn't know how to say no, but this is definitely out of my comfort zone. Uh, the girls had to show me the camera feature on my on my computer. I've, I've never used that before. Um, talking is not out of my comfort zone. Um, and if I had the chance, I would just ramble on and on and on because my audience has been reduced and they're probably not happy to hear me ramble on and on and on anymore. But I have lots of words to say. Um, I did type this out, so I know it looks a little awkward as I look down, but uh, I needed to do that to keep to keep myself going in a, in a specific direction um, and not to just chase rabbit holes, rabbit trails. Um, if you've heard me teach class, you know I can easily get off topic. Um, and hopefully we'll figure this video thing out, but um, it's good to kind of see you anyway. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start off um, the de devotionals on peace and joy because right now we need a lot of peace and we, we need to feel a lot of joy. Um, so I'm going to read the lyrics to uh, It Is Well With My Soul because that song tends to give me a lot of uh, peace, um, makes me think of people I, I, I miss, um, and just the, the lyrics remind me of the, the love of God. Um, and anyway, when peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot that has taught me to know, it is well, it is well with my soul. It is well with my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul. Though Satan should buffet through trials should come, let the blessed assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. My sin, oh the bliss of this glorious thought, my sin not in part but the whole, is nailed to the cross and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, oh my soul. For me, be it Christ, be it Christ hence to live, if Jordan above me shall roll. No pang shall be mine, for in death as in life, thou wilt whisper thy peace to my soul. But Lord, tis for thee, for thy coming we wait. The sky, not the grave, is our goal. O trump of the angel, O voice of the Lord, blessed hope, blessed rest of my soul. And Lord, haste the day when the face shall be sight, the clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound, and the Lord shall descend. Even then, it is well with my soul. I should just stop there because I think right now that that just fills me with so much peace just knowing that. Um, but these are some strange times, and so we'll we'll try to apply a little bit of this to to our lives and the current um, the event that we're going through. It's just crazy. Uh, they're crazy times because it's such a strange dichotomy uh, of things that are going on. Because it's so odd to me how the coronavirus has caused so much chaos and turmoil, but at the same time, it has also seemed to just slow time. Um, we have so much free time right now, it seems like. We have the uncertainty of the magnitude to our own health and also to the healthcare system that our, our nation has. Um, and with this uncertainty, we also have clear calendars. Um, we, have, we have just time. We have more time to think about and to pray earnestly for others. And I think a lot of us have done that. Um, but yet, praying for others, we also have the need and the desire to hug and to just be with others. Um, and the hardest recently is just to be able to, to tell our loved ones um, the final goodbye for what we've gone through with the passing of, of Miss Helen. Um, we have chaos in our homes while we try to homeschool. Um, and also to work, many of us are working from home, um, but we also have a large amount of time to just be at home. I, I don't recall ever being at home as much as, pop, as I have lately. Um, my car is pretty relieved right now to not be putting on the miles that I normally put on it on a daily basis. Um, I don't know about you, but I wake up wondering what, what am I going to do today? Um, and then I end up going to bed at night wondering why I didn't get more done during the day. Um, I think I may be wasting a lot of time as well. Um, and perhaps in all of this uncertainty, we have the reminder that this is kind of how it's supposed to be. 
There is nothing certain about tomorrow. Um, our certainty as a Christian is where our eternal, eternal home is. Um, and I was just telling that we were just having that discussion with the girls as, as well, um, with the uncertainty of what tomorrow holds, uh, because I don't know that I've ever just stopped and thought about things being uncertain tomorrow or next month or, or having my schedule cleared because of things that are beyond my control. Um, and if, if, uh, if I was able to really live with this uncertainty, um, I, other than the, the current times, I mean, would I be able to continuously find the joy, the joy of the today? Um, the song I read the lyrics to, uh, because I read it because there's no way I'm going to sing that on video or anywhere else. Um, the lyrics play a lot in my head a lot of different times and, and a lot lately because what can be more comforting during a time like we are currently experiencing um, or even on a normal day than this song. The song refocuses me and puts the main thing back as the main thing and that is finding my peace and joy in God our Heavenly Father. Uh, I have been reading Psalms lately. Uh, one, it's just very soothing during this time and also it just happened to be the the part of the Bible I was in on my Bible reading. Um, I also have a really neat little journal that Carolyn Bloodworth had, uh, had made that helps me journal through Psalms um, to divide it up into different topics such as nature and what God is like and, and the freedom that we have with God. Um, but in Psalm 16 verses 8 through 11 really stood out um, for this devotional today. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad, and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure, for you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, or let the Holy One see corruption. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Fullness of joy, that may not be something we've thought about lately. Uh, joy seems a little distant at times right now when we forget that we find the fullness of joy in God's presence. Um, to quote a study guide that I have by Lou Ann Rogers, so often we are hiding from his presence instead of seeking to get closer to him. Only in a close relationship with God will we be able to find the joy that brings peace and contentment in our lives. How often I forget that the joy found in his presence is what brings peace. Those two go hand in hand. Oh, how we need that peace right now. Um, I think all of us need that peace right now. Um, the Bible, this is another quote by Cassandra Martin. The Bible is not about man seeking God, for man is trying to hide from God, but is about God seeking man. He is waiting in his word for you to come to him. Wow, that really stood out to me. Because um, I know we're to seek God's will, and we go to his word to seek God's will for our life. But we might often forget that God is seeking us. And during this time in our nation and in this world, God is continuously seeking us. And we are to be reminded that he's the same today as he was yesterday, and he will be tomorrow. Each one of us is being sought, and that is where I can find joy in these crazy times. When I find that joy in his presence, that's when I can feel the peace that only comes from him. It was a good visit in with you. Um, I wish this was in person. Um, and I hope that we all we all meet again at church and just have the pews packed full um, and worship together. Can I'm ready for that singing that drowns me out because I can't drown myself out at home very well. Love you, ladies, and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.